morning. Our gathering hymn is number 745, Come Christians Join to Sing, number 745. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let's call to mind our shortcomings and failures. Ask God's pardon and forgiveness for the worthy celebration of this most holy Eucharist. We shall pray together, I confess, to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty of a living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, brothers and sisters. I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. None, for creation was made subject to fertility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it and hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we were saved. Now hope that sees for itself is not hope. For who hopes for what one sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait with endurance. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord has done marvels for us. The Lord, the Lord has, has done, done marvels, marvels for us. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. The, the Lord, Lord has done marvels for us. us. Then they said among the nations, 
The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. The, the Lord, Lord has done marvelous for us. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents <clears throat> in the southern desert. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. The, the Lord, Lord has done marvelous, marvelous for, us. for us. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. The Lord, the Lord has, has done, done marvels for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, What is the kingdom of God like? To what can I compare it? It's like a mustard seed that a man took and planted in the garden. When it was fully grown, it becomes a large bush, and the birds of the sky dwell in its branches. Again he said, to what shall compare the kingdom of God? It's like a yeast that a woman took and mixed in with the three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch of dove was leavened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus begins his public ministry by announcing the arrival of the kingdom. And in Matthew and Luke, he gives a number of parables to explain its meaning and nature. In today's gospel passage, we have two parables, which reminds us two things. First, to spread the kingdom of heaven, human of food is needed. So like a tiny mustard seed needs to be planted and it grows into a large bush. And secondly, it is God who gives the food. Or like we listen to the responsorial psalm of today. God works marvels. You know, the person, one who plans, plans it, waters it, maneuvers it, but it grows. And the psalmist says, it is God who works marvels. If it is with God's grace, things happen. Just like in the second parable, 
the woman take a little bit of the yeast and prepares the whole batch of dough. As we continue this Eucharistic celebration, the liturgy of today invites you and me our effort or our participation, our share, though um, small or very little, which can bear fruit in abundance. Please rise. Let's place our prayers and petitions before the Lord, asking his blessings. For Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, all the leaders of the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's continue to remember and pray for our Bishop. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Christians all over the world, through their words and through their deeds, participate in spreading the kingdom of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Missionaries and catechists and all those who are engaged in teaching and preaching the gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and suffering, especially members of our parish family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. People suffering due to various natural or man-made calamities, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let's place our personal intentions before the Lord. Let's remember and pray for all the faithful departed, especially for Clifford and Agatha Marsalak, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our God, our loving Father, we bring our prayers and petitions before you. The liturgy of today reminds us that our little act of charity and words of encouragement will go a long way in spreading the kingdom of God. Make this prayer through Christ uh, our Lord. Amen.
Brothers, sisters, and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, uh, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to Your Majesty, that whatever is done by us in Your service may be directed above all to Your glory through Christ uh, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them against yourself, that a people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit, might the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the church. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you as with joy we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fond of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving things, broke it and gave it to his disciples, say, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. <clears throat> when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. And bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, William our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in a mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How much in us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit you go as to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Of the service command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Our lead is not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your world, who live and reign forever and uh, ever. Amen. The peace and joy of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm, not I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only listen the word, word, and my, my soul, soul shall be healed. healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. 
Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O oh Lord, be prayed, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in science, we may one day persist in truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall pray together. Pray to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. So thank you everyone for being part of this Eucharistic celebration. Also would like to thank those who join us through the live stream and those who later participate through YouTube. Thank you and have a, a wonderful day. Thank you, Father. Our ascending hymn is number 772, Glory and Praise to Our God, number 772.